Um, right, so the uh, Bridgeport Series 1 machine uh, was acquired off of Kijiji in uh, November uh, 2008. The um, machine uh, was purchased running, so it had all its original electronics um, operational. Uh, as you can see, it came with a pretty nice uh, complement of uh, quick change tooling. These are uh, NTMB uh, uh, 30 taper. Um, you just give it a, a nice like that, and they come out. These are running ER40 uh, collets. Came with a nice set of collets as well, and it has some um, 400 series um, collets that fit in the smaller holders. This is the second controller we have for the uh, the larger Bridgeport machine. Uh, this will be running stepper motors, is what uh, came originally with the uh, with the Bridgeport. Again, uh, Gecko drives, um, 3203V Gecko drives. Uh, we're running uh, uh, 56 volts DC, which is about 48 volts uh, rectified. Um, running a capacitor, we're running uh, um, a CNC for PC um, breakout board. And what we're running are uh, three or uh, four and uh, one for uh, limit switches, uh, truck trailer plugs. A uh, simple solution to actually being able to uh, connect and disconnect the, uh, the controller from the machine. Uh, here's the controller all buttoned up, ready to go into the, uh, into the machine. It's a standalone controller because uh, our intention is to run it uh, eventually with, uh, with a, a CNC plasma cutter. So we have it standalone for the moment. The fan hasn't been installed in it, but the idea is to be able to uh, basically uh, pick it up and put it in the cabinet of the bridge port. And so, close the door here, and uh, basically it'll become the controller for the uh, whoop, for the bridge port machine. As with the uh, smaller servo machine, we've installed a Hitachi um, um, variable frequency drive to drive the three-phase um, main spindle motor. Um, that's a that's a 220 three-phase motor uh, that's running off of a single-phase uh, 220 power right out of our own fuse box here. So um, that'll be controlled by the uh, the uh, mock software as well and uh, we'll start and stop the spindle and of course set the speed of the spindle at the same time. As you can see we still have uh, quite a bit of, uh, uh, of tidying up of things to do. We just have the uh, e-stop switch it's just mounted temporarily on top of the cabinet. Um, wiring for the, uh, the limit switches are all in series and here you see the mocked up um, plug um, configuration for the controller box which is uh, sitting inside the cabinet. The door is not on the cabinet yet. The machine has the original um, superior steppers. Uh, they're, they're giant monsters, round permanent magnet stepper motors. Uh, travel of the table is um, 19 inches by uh, 12 and we have about uh, I think eight inches of spindle travel in the Y axis, so it's a, it's a fairly good size uh, piece of real estate um, that uh, uh, hopefully we can make some pretty large pieces with. Uh, John, uh, this is the machine. It's uh, as you can see it's got a, a VFD. I'm working on the head to work on a on a one to one belt drive. Figure with the VFD, I should be okay with that. Um, machine jogs. Um, I'm not getting great speeds, but uh, I'm still uh, just in testing mode, really. And uh, finally, uh, I've been able to get the uh, the homing to work. Let's see if we can get it to work here. It's been uh, not terribly reliable, but. Uh, but uh, so far, so good.
Yeah, so I'm happy with that, you know. 